Nine other states are backing Arizona in a brief filed with the court. In addition to offering a show of support for Arizona, the states want to make sure the judge reviews certain legal points concerning federal involvement with state law. Michigan Attorney General Mike Cox filed the legal brief on behalf of the nine states, and he's joining us now. Uh, Mr. Cox, Michigan is a long way from Arizona. Why get involved? Well, it's a huge issue to America, uh, and we are a border state. Uh, the reality is, Jenna, that once again we have the federal government suing to try and stop taxpayers, citizens who are trying to defend themselves from the problems of illegal immigration. And as a fellow state, we believe in the idea of state sovereignty within the federalist system. And this attack on the efforts of Governor Brewer in Arizona is an attack on the idea of state sovereignty. So what exactly can you offer the state of Arizona? Is this largely symbolic support? How can you get involved here? Well, us nine states are offering the perspective of states. Uh, that is our special role in the federal system. That where the federal government uh, hasn't been, hasn't preempted us, that we have the right to act. Mm -hmm. Here, the, the Obama administration is arguing that Arizona is trying to set immigration policy for the United States. And nothing could be further from the truth. The U.S. Ma government, the president still determines who's illegal, sure. who isn't. Or Arizona is merely saying, let us help you and keep the illegals out of the state of Arizona. So, Mr. Cox, we understand it that you're a candidate for governor for Michigan. Steve Brown just right. reported to us last hour. You're one of the uh, few Republicans in the lead there. So talk to us about this law. If you are elected governor in Michigan, would you implement a similar law to the one we're seeing in Arizona? I, I certainly would. Uh, uh, though right now in every single state, state police officers can exercise their discretion uh, if they have reasonable suspicion that someone they stopped is illegal and check with the feds. What Arizona said, instead of leaving that up to the individual cop, we're going to make it our policy, our state policy, that whenever there's reasonable suspicion, we're going to give it to the feds. Uh, there really hasn't been that big a change in the law. Uh, the Obama administration uh, is, is, I think, a little miffed. Uh, that the state of Arizona is forcing them mm -hmm. to enforce immigration law. And that, that's really the nub of the issue. You know, Mr. Cox, you've also banded with other attorney generals across this country to challenge the constitutionality of health care reform as well. So you've been right. out in front challenging the federal government. Uh, is this just part of your campaign? I mean, is this just part of attacking the federal government right now because that's going to help you get elected? On the contrary, uh, going back to 1789, uh, there's been a healthy tension between states and the federal government. Our federal, our, our system, uh, the, our federal system depends on strong and assertive states uh, to ensure that the federal government doesn't get too big or too strong. That's what the Tenth Amendment's about. That's what Article One, setting forth the powers of Congress, is about. A recognition that that this that the federal government. Uh, doesn't trump states that we work mm -hmm. together in, in uh, coextensive and concurrent ways. And, and we're just merely asserting the idea of state sovereignty, which the founders put in the Constitution. I didn't, uh, and, and neither did the nine other attorney generals who've joined with me. All right, Mr. Cox, thank you very much. We're looking forward to speaking with you again. Thank you. Thank you very much, Jenna. Have a great day.